What's up, everybody? My name is TK, and welcome back to Let's Play Jump Superstars. And today we're starting the battlefield, which is where all the really, really action-y series are. Anyway, um, our stage is just going to be a simple stage of just hitting a treasure chest around. And last time I created the funny deck, and I had Lone Ouija on. I heard that you guys really liked it, so I might do that again in the future. But yeah, basically what you're just going to be doing is hitting around this chest. Do it eight times without using the Y or the... B button and then you might as well just like you're gonna have to do it twice basically just hit it around without using one of those two and then when you come back don't do double jumps with the character I managed to do it right now but you know what it's a lot harder to try not to do that then because it's like kind of like your normal thing that you would do is double jump but whatever I never got why this is a mission but uh, they take those type of missions out of the uh, next game which I'm not even sure that I'm gonna do I'm gonna like ask you guys should you do you guys want me to do jump ultimate stars right after this one but anyway oh man how are you guys um i have been like not updating as much mainly it was because i've been getting high like all week <laughs> and i actually recorded this while i was high so i shouldn't be telling you guys this but yeah uh suck my balls anyway another mission objective was to beat it within 30 seconds but yeah, enough about me. I'm just telling you that when I originally recorded this, uh, the gameplay footage, not my commentary, uh, I kind of get my ass kicked, and I was watching Space Ghost while watching it, so I'm just laughing my ass off. Anyway, our next level is just going to be kick the guy's ass and get three kills by hitting him out of the ring and also uh, not uh, getting hit by a lot of crap. Anyway, this deck right here has a character that we've never seen before, but I'll talk more about him later. Anyway, we're doing a series that was made by the same guy who brought you Yu Yu Hakusho, and that's Hunter Hunter. Not Hunter X Hunter, as, like, as I used to call it, even though I got an X in between the Hunter Hunter. But anyway, yeah, Hunter Hunter. Okay, uh, mm, let me run this up, let me rev this up. Okay, Hunter Hunter. It's a series about a kid named Gone Freaks, and he wants to seek out his father, who is a hunter. But in the world of hunters, their pretty much job is to hunt something. And they got to get a license to do that because then they got like access to the whole world as long as they got this freaking awesome license that allows them to do anything that they want. Anyway, you didn't see that. <laughs> um, Hunter Hunter, it has like follows the same like principles of freaking like I was having glitches while recording this by the way. But this series pretty much has the four protagonists that you got Gone Freaks. Who's Nin Power? Yeah, they got Nin, which is like their energy, and he has the ability to like you like put it into like his fist, as in like rock paper scissors, and he can cut things and he can shoot the paper. But I I'm not exactly sure like how that actually works. Then you got Kilua, who is his life partner. They're only kids, but <laughs> Kilua is basically an assassin that can use his electricity and shock people. Then there's Kapokipa, or Karapika, and basically his power is that he has these freaking chains. There's also um, this other character named Leorio, but you know what, I don't really give two shits about him. He doesn't do anything, but I heard that recently, like, he has powers now. But anyway, yeah, the series is actually really good on a level, on an intellectual level, and it doesn't, like, have a shitload of action because the creator of it, like, is very ill all the time, or something. something's always wrong with him. And that uh, actually delays this series down to the point where it's like only being published monthly in a weekly Shonen Jump, which is kind of weird. Back in 2007, it's been like on hiatus for years, but recently it's been getting back up there. It's on and off, but who cares? It's a good series, and I say you guys read it or watch it because they just started up a new anime series to compensate how bad the original anime series was. Anyway, yeah, we beat the freaking level. I don't know how, but I was getting my ass kicked the whole freaking time. And we only managed to kill him three times. Nice. Yeah, I even managed to die. But you know, those glitches on the screen. It wasn't me. <sighs> Black screen. Anyway, yay. <sighs> We're going on to the next level. I'm sorry. I'm really freaking t sleepy. Anyway, uh, this is a simple level where you're just going to be beating it with, uh, just beating up people, but you got three opponents to kill. So get a deck that you really kick ass with and go all out. More about Hunter Hunter. I love the execution of the story. Basically, it first starts off with them um, getting their hunter's license, 
which is like this long exam, which is like really executed really well. Because he's trying to avoid this guy named Hazuka, who is like trying to kill him and whatnot. But anyway, he's not going to do it because he's not strong enough. But basically, like, just like he was just trying to survive the whole tournament with like Kilua and all of them. And they basically all got their like hunter's license. But it was very anticlimactic how they got it. Except Kilua, he had to drop out. But then eventually he comes back and kills everybody at the hunter exam. And that's how he gets his license like a boss. Anyway, yeah, that was freaking easy. You know, use the X button or the Y button. But I can easily do that with just using Yugi because I love using Yugi. Okay, next series is going to be a toughie of a series because I've only read it once. Like, I've read through the whole freaking manga, but, like, I never read it ever again. So, like, my memory of it is not really all that good. And I didn't, it's not that memorable, neither. Oh, and, oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, uh, execute three super tag combos and don't switch your character five different times. All the rest you guys, I think you guys should be able to do. But uh, make sure you choose your tag deck so you can get that little mission down. Anyway, this series was created by my favorite author of Aroni Kenshin, and that's Buso Ren Ken. Or Armored Alchemist, as it should have been called over here. Or Arms Alchemy over here in America, but I, it's just called Buso Ren Ken. Anyway, Busto Reken, it is about a kid named Kazuki Muto, or Moto, I don't know. And basically it follows a little bleach plot where he's being saved by a girl who has powers, and then the next morning he wake up and he has powers, and his power is of alchemy. And through that alchemy, he can create a weapon, these two spears that are just freaking awesome. But he used these spears to take down Humunculuses, and he's part of this company that's run by Captain Bravo. And their main, uh, the different homunculus that they fight are based off of plants, animals, and humans that are inside of humans. And basically, just like, it, it follows like, just like a simple plot of like Monster of the Week at first. And then after that, it gets a little bit more in depth. But it's only 10 volumes, so, like, it's not that long, so. Just know this that, uh, his main enemy is Palpalon. And like, I think the first arc, the first three volumes, involved him fighting him. I remember that the most, and I, I just love the way he beat him. And I think he becomes a good character. Palpilon? Palpilon, and he basically has, like, butterflies, and they can make things explode or something. I don't know. But yeah, one of the major reasons why I like this series so much is because Buso Ren Ken, it's, like, made by the same guy who made Roni Kenshin, and that's, like, my favorite jump series. Like, it was in jump, Shonen Jump. No, it's not Dragon Ball Z, so I'm sorry if you guys, like, love Dragon Ball Z. We're getting there, by the way. Stay tuned. Another thing I should tell you guys, too, is that the paths are going to start deviating here on uh, Jump Superstar. It's like, meaning, like, we could start doing, like, some of our old levels again, even though I just got my ass whooped. Man, I want that fucking Sanji. Sanji is a beast on that game. Like, if you don't know, he's from One Piece. But, yeah, the paths are going to be switching, and I'm going to start asking at the end of the video... What path should I take? Uh, actually, no, that's a stupid idea. I don't know. I can't think of a damn question. And oh my gosh, we just tied. And when you tie with a character, you lose. And I didn't even freaking know that. I thought it had just been like draw, but yeah, you lose. So <sighs> I'm going to have to do this all over again on camera. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Uh, can I talk more about Buso Ren Ken? It, recently, it has been translated over here in English, and it only has 26 episodes, so, I mean, like, if that's your thing, then go ahead and watch it. But yeah, I've never actually watched it. I might give it a watch, like, right after I get done recording this. I recorded this once before, but you know what? Like, uh, I just... It wasn't in me to actually post that recording because uh, I, didn't, I, really, I didn't really say anything besides, Oh my gosh, from TK and I'm a dumbass. What's Buso Rinkin? But yeah, fuck that. How are you guys? Uh, I got, uh, I got me another uh, two minutes. Uh, recently, I have been watching uh, Sailor Moon, which is, I've watched the abridged version of it. And then after that, I started watching it again. Like, the actual real version of it. And my God, it's a, the dub just terrible. Like, when I was a kid and I used to watch it, it was because my sister used to watch that. Like, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. She would watch freaking Sailor Moon. And, like, sometimes we'd, like, pretty much peek over at each other's shows and whatnot. But 
I also watched it because of the estrogen and those girls fighting around in miniskirts and whatnot. And I didn't even know what the fuck that was about. It just interested me. And by the time that I'm like fucking 16 years old, I'm like, oh, that's why I liked it. Does anybody have that feeling? That's going to be the question of the week. Uh, uh, that can't be it. I can't just ask, like, uh, did anybody like uh, Sailor Moon for the reasons why boys like it? <sighs> I don't know. I'll ask you guys, like, what your favorite Toonami show is. So you guys know what to do. Write that in the comments. What's your favorite Toonami show is? Because Sailor Moon came on on Toonami back in the 90s. I miss the fucking 90s. Another thing I've been doing uh, is playing a Sega Saturn. Yeah, I got me a Sega Saturn emulator, and my god, does it work well. And I've just been playing the shit out of just, like, Bomberman, like, these Japanese games. My friend had a Sega Saturn. He was the only person I ever knew that had a Sega Saturn. And it was way before, it was when, like, Dreamcast came out. But anyway, we finally beat this level, and we do a hell of a lot better, because last time I died a lot, and I didn't even do enough combos. But this time I kicked ass, so... Call me Chun Li. <laughs> I stole that from a rap song. Kiss my ass. Anyway, we beat this freaking level, but I am gonna just deviate by myself and just go back to the grasslands because there's other series that we can do. So you guys know what to do. Write to me, subscribe to me, tell me what your favorite tsunami series is. I'll be seeing you guys later.